Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with a brand new video on the channel, and this is a new angle for all of you. This will change. Um, I need to get something above my desk that I can put my ring light and a phone holder on. Right now I'm using a server app to do the webcam stuff, but you know, it's all there. This is the start of something new with the TechX YouTube channel. Today, I went out and I bought some new computer equipment. And that's what we're going to go over here in the video. I'm also going to... That's really dumb. The camera software I'm using has the icons on the side, I just noticed. I wonder if I can hide those. Anyway, I don't care. I'm not that worried about it. But we're going over the hardware that I purchased today because this laptop ain't cutting it. You guys can see it it's right here. It is a Core i5 8th gen. It's crap. Uh, I think it's 8 gigs of RAM. It's a 1 terabyte SSD, which is great, and I'm going to cannibalize that. But it also has Intel Optane in it, which is great. But I don't think you can use Optane on... AMD. That's right. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> Can you tell I'm new to this? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> hold up. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, we've gone AMD Ryzen. Wow, this would be way better if I did it by USB connection or instead of a Wi-Fi connection. Anyway, so I need to figure out some way to mount this above my desk because right now this looks terrible. But we're going to AMD. I also got a new motherboard. Thank you, Micro Center, for taking about three and a half days of my paycheck in order for me to have a motherboard and a CPU. But as you guys can see over here, uh, I'm not good at this pointing thing. There it is, not her. That's my old motherboard. The RAM from that's gonna get used in this. Um, I forget what CPU is on that board. Let me see. So this was going to be my option. As you can tell, it's a very small motherboard. This is a micro ATX. Uh, this has currently, I know the, ter the thermal paste is terrible. I didn't do it. I let somebody else do it because it was lazy. I was going to use this board because it had the M.2 slot and none of the screw holes are broken like they are on my Z170 Pro Gaming. Yeah, uh, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Dave and I'm a hoarder. So, that's not even the only computer in reach. Like, what the shit is this? <laughs> Let's not even get started on the, what's out of camera view, you know. The, you might recognize those power switches. Why do I have these? I don't do anything with Raspberry Pis. Haha, <laughs> you thought my face. Anyway. This was going to be the solution. But there's a problem with this solution. This uh, cooler is gigantic. And when you put this cooler right here, not only can you not use one of the RAM slots, you also cannot put a graphics card in because if you put in a full-size graphics card, well, let's say, you know, an RX 570, if you put this in here, the heat sink doesn't fit. I just realized my hand was gigantic right there. If you put the graphics card 
Okay, we don't need this here anymore. You get the point. If you put it right here, you can't put in the cables for like the front I.O. and stuff like that. So, I was really just done messing around. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use this hardware for. A friend of mine has desperately wanted a gaming computer for the last couple of years. Yes, there is a Pokemon Pikachu Tamagotchi over here. Shut up. It's never been used. No, you cannot buy it. Um, I might give the i5-6600K and this motherboard to her. Um, she was gracious years ago to let me buy the RX 570 off of her when my GTX 960 was starting to die. And that's how I was able to continue videos on my i7 build. But, unfortunately, the i7... This is the i5, so in there is my i7. In this motherboard, as you will notice, I'm breaking stuff. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it, and I don't feel like taking the camera off of the tripod. Where is my M.2? Where's my M.2? Oh, it's all the way over here. That's right. So the problem with this board was, you see this giant hole in the board? That might become a YouTube video of me fixing that. Basically, what I'm going to need to do is desolder one of these and solder it here. And then that'll fix this board. Would that have been much cheaper than spending $410.68 on an AMD Ryzen 5 5600 and an MSI B550 Tomahawk? Oh yeah, that would have been way cheaper. But, there are things I want to do. There are things I want to bring to this YouTube channel. There are scheduled videos I want to do. There's so many things I'd like to do that I enjoy that I know I could just hit the record button and go and let it do its thing. Uh, one of my favorite games is Trackmania. One of my favorite game series is Trackmania. And I want to do what's called Cup of the Day videos. I want to do a series on Trackmania called Get Good. Get Good is going to consist of... Wow, my fingers are ugly and you can even see it in the camera. I'm so sorry. Anyway, the whole point of Get Good is going to be to get good. Right now, I'm able to hold my own on Trackmania. If you throw me through the campaign levels, I can usually get author medals. But I'm not good. I'm able to play the game and I'm able to enjoy it. So get good is to actually learn track mania. The other thing I want to do is more in Unity 3D. I want to be able to help out with the 1320 revival project. I want to be able to do a whole bunch of stuff in Unity 3D. One of my old favorite ideas that I wanted to do a series on was taking Adobe Flash games and converting them to Unity 3D. Convert Curveball, convert Drag Racer V3, convert 1320 Challenge, convert uh, Kitten Cannon, convert um, Toss the Turtle, which has already been done. I want to convert old school games to mobile if it's possible to make them work on mobile, which if I'm the one creating them, it's possible because I'll be in control of the source code. And I'll probably open source all of it and even make a... Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll be able to do a whole bunch of stuff on that video, or on that series. I also want to continue the lit tech stuff. We're just going to start from ground zero because I'm even rusty with it. I don't remember much with it. I would like to start that from episode zero, reinstalling everything, getting the source code set up, how to compile it. Um, there's also going to be real stuff like this, uh, going over things I find at thrift stores and stuff like that that are cool. There's a Commodore 64 in the closet over there. Shout out to Big Pen, the one and only. He knows I'm a hot sauce buff and he sent me some hot sauce. So there's going to be a video of me trying this. I refuse to open that until the camera is pointed at my face and I can give it a whiff. I want to start. That'll probably be like once every other week. It'll be a series that's once every other week. 
and I'll bring on friends and I'll bring on uh, different sauces. You guys can recommend sauces. Maybe I'll even create an Amazon wish list and you guys can just buy sauces off the wish list and have me try them. Um, I don't think I'm popular enough to say that, but that's okay. So why don't we get into opening these boxes because I don't know what this stuff looks like. We're gonna start with the processor. Actually, we're gonna start with the motherboard because I wanna put the CPU into the socket in this video. So, I do not have a good setup for this. Jesus Christ, I tried. Anyway, let's get this out of here. And I'll take it out of the bag real quick. But there's so many other things I can do on this channel as well. That's not all the ideas I have. Uh, Anti-static bag. Oh, I also got really nice USB Wi-Fi dongle at the local thrift store. So I'll use this or I'll move my DDWRT router upstairs. Would you guys be interested in how to turn a $5 router into a DDWRT antenna? Let me know in the comments. The Wi-Fi card I'll just throw at the floor. I'm going to put this down. This desk is painted with latex paint, so it is an anti-static desk. Um, it's not painted well. As you can see, it's got stains all over it. But it's fine. Anyway, look at that. It's a Tomahawk. B550. This thing is nuts. So M.2 is under here. It's also an M.2 here. Um, does not have built-in Wi-Fi. That's something I wanted, but the price range that I was in, it just wasn't possible. I'm not going to do much as far as... What is that? I'm going to have to... I will admit when I need to read the instruction booklet, I am going to read the instruction booklet. Anyway. So RX 570 is going to go here. I am going to be doing some virtual machine work, so I'm wondering if I can get away with doing my uh, R uh, RTX, my GTX 960 as a pass-through card and having two cards in the same system because that would be sweet. But I'm going to put my RAM here. Unfortunately, my four sticks of DDR4 are different speeds. Uh, I have two that are 3200 and I have two that are 2400. I'm not willing to take the sacrifice and underclock two of the sticks, so I'm just going to run 16 gigs for now until I can get a second set of uh, Corsair Vengeance, which right now is actually pretty cheap, luckily. But I also need to figure out how to get some data off of the M.2. I don't know where my M.2 is. Oh boy, I'm sad. I don't know where my drive... What's this? I just found an Intel Pentium dual core. Hey, anybody want a Razer phone? Actually, I'm just kidding. That's not a Razer phone. That's an Essential phone. When I tell you I have a lot of junk for ideas for YouTube videos, I do. Anyway, let's open the CPU real quick. I'm going to need my knife because it's taped shut. This thing is sweet. I've never used it for anything. I don't trust myself, myself with knives. Uh, I use porcelain knives at work. Wow, that was nice. How do I close this without cutting my finger off? It's even got like the, I keep this normally in my car, but I have another one. So I'm gonna keep that one on my desk for doing things like this. But these come with a cooler, right? I didn't buy one. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, baby, a triple. <laughs> Put that over there for now. And there we go. The Ryzen 5 5600X. I didn't have the money at the moment to go Ryzen 7 as much as I wanted to just to keep with the times. I feel like in a year when the 6,000 or 7,000 is out, that's when I'll upgrade to a seven or a nine. Right now, it's just not worth it to me. But 
I'm impatient. I want to get this CPU into that socket. I have fat fingers. You can even see it on camera. Wow, I'm gross. Actually, no, I'm going to tease you. Yeah, you dirty nerds. Anyway, I'm going to do a whole build video. I would like to do a stream, but I don't have the DDWRT router up here yet. And unfortunately, unless I hardwire, my upload speed where I am in this office is just, it tanks. Which is why I need to get a Wi-Fi booster. But I'm going to find a way to hardwire all the way up to my office. Realistically, I only need about 30 feet of uh, probably Cat5e or Cat6 to actually get up here. But that Wi-Fi USB should be good for now for at least uploading. Streams will happen eventually. But let me know what ser types of series you want on the channel. I'm going to do a build of this on, uh, on my channel, hopefully. Flash BIOS button. Well, this has some nice I.O. I could have, I would have been happy with more USB instead of a 2.5 gig connection, but this thing is heavy. Hot damn. Hot diggity dangle damn. All right. I need to find my M.2. I want to build this thing. We back. And we better than ever. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are excited for the future of the channel. Peace out, Girl Scouts.